Here we are again talking about buying cars and it can be one of those things that is very exciting but also at the same time can make you feel very anxious because there's always that chance of something being just a little bit off. What's going on everybody? Jails from Fitment Industries and on today's episode of The Build Sheet, we are going to be talking about whether or not it's a good idea to pick up a used modified car. Before we go ahead and get right into it, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're looking for wheels, tires, or suspension for your car, or maybe your newly acquired vehicle, don't forget to check out fitmentindustries.com. And while you're over there, check out the giveaway we got going on with Conse Wheels right now for the month of January. All that is in the description. Go ahead, check it out after. But anyway, we are going to go ahead and get right into the nitty gritty of whether or not buying a used modified car is a good idea or maybe not so much. First off, buying a used car in general has its own pros and cons to it. And there's almost like a science that goes into trying to figure out if you're getting a good deal on one or not. But that becomes especially like more difficult when you go look at a used car that already has some aftermarket modifications to it or has been modified from its stock form. And what it truly comes down to, what are the pros and what are the cons of buying a vehicle that already has modifications done to it? So let's go ahead and go over the pros first. We all know that you will never truly get back what you put into a vehicle when it comes time to sell it and when it comes to aftermarket parts. It's usually worth selling this part separately from the car to get the most money back out of that investment. But that also means that there are two sides of this. Usually this means that when looking to buying a used modified car, you're not gonna be paying full price for what all the parts cost the owner. Meaning that you're going to get a better deal if you were looking to do that to the car anyway. At the same time, if we're talking about exterior modifications or appearance mods, the car already looks well, better, hopefully. We'll touch on that in a bit, but the odds are you can find a car that already has all or most of what you want done to it, already done for you. So in that case, if you're not looking to put a ton of wrench time in and want something that is not stock and you can get to have fun with right away, there you go. Personally, I've seen this done all over the DSM and FRS community as people who've taken the naturally aspirated 428 Eclipses or the FRS BRZs and have taken the time and money to turbo them and then sell them for just about the same price as a bone stock one. Another pro to picking up a used modified car is that with being modified, odds are the current owner is a car enthusiast, believe it or not, yeah. Meaning that they actually you know, care about their car just a little bit and that they do the maintenance to that vehicle and they have some sense to keep you know everything clean and in order and all nice and tidy. However, we have the other edge of that double-edged sword and that is the one that you hopefully never have to run into and that is the potential cons of picking up a used modified car. Not everyone wants to buy top of the line aftermarket parts. It's just the truth. That's just the way it goes. And it's no surprise that very cheap aftermarket parts can find their way into just about every little area in a car, whether it be performance parts that don't like make sense for lack of a better term, aero parts that don't fit or look really cheap or whatever it may be. Sometimes it can be as simple as just taking the part off entirely and ditching it, which would be the best case scenario in that situation. However, it is also a possibility that there could be something necessary that was replaced with an aftermarket part or aftermarket version of that part and is needed to make you know the car do what it needs to do, like run. And it may be better just to replace it with something of better quality, which will end up in the long run costing you more than expected. Going along with that, another thing to keep in mind is that if the car does have a lot of work done to it, like for the engine, for example, there's a chance that some corners may have been cut to save some money, which is always a little bit scary. Not something that's crazy common, but it does unfortunately happen. Whether it was all DIY work and it was the owner's first time, you know, kind of diving into that part of the car or whatever it might be, it can be a scary thing because it's not always something that can be visible just by looking at the car. And remember when we talked about enthusiasts owning cars being one of the pros to this? Well, sometimes it can also be a little bit of a negative as well. You see, when people build cars or modify them to get more performance out of them, they usually like to drive them and like really drive them. 
some more than others. And every now and then, there are some poor victims that just don't get the love and care and maintenance that they should be getting, resulting in some less than wanted results. But don't let this scare you or discourage you from going out and looking at some used modified cars because just like buying a normal used vehicle, there are things that you can check for and do to make sure you're either going to be happy with your purchase or pick up on all the red flags to tell you to wait maybe for the next one. Ask as many questions as possible. If the owner is willing to go into detail about everything that has been done to the car, usually that's a pretty good sign. If there are parts on the car that seem pretty important that you want wouldn't like to have you know fail right away or cause issues ask if they have the receipts for the parts or work that has been done to the car usually you can find out key things like what the parts are when they were purchased when they were installed and who installed them and it can really give a good idea into what exactly you're looking at and if at any point something seems off about the car or off about what's been done to the car it probably is, and that is where you have to use your own sense of judgment on whether or not that it's something that you want to have to deal with. Overall, buying a used modified car can be a great option if you're looking for your next vehicle. But just like looking at any car to buy, some things to keep in consideration, use your best judgment, and of course, most importantly, if they have some ugly wheels or broken suspension, Come on over to fitmentindustries.com and we'll get you squared away with some new wheels, tires, and maybe some suspension, you know, coilovers, air suspension, lowering springs, whatever it may be. But that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries. We will see you later. Peace.